So today is Sunday, March 31st, 2024, and it is Easter Sunday. Now, Easter is celebrated by more than 95 countries. It's celebrated by more than 80% of Americans here in the United States. And today, I wanted to change things up a little bit. One of the things I've been doing a lot lately, I've been talking about what's going on, the news, everything that's happening in the world and the United States. The problem is, a lot of that stuff is bad news, but I do have some good news. And I wanna share this with you today because again, it is Easter. So, happy Easter. Now, in just a moment, I'm gonna share some of the good news. But again, and I wanna just preface this by saying that good news is really in the eyes of the beholder. And so, what I'm gonna to address today, some are gonna say, well, this is still bad news, but again, if you change the angle, you change your mindset, then it becomes good news. So I will address that in just a moment. All I ask is one thing, it takes two seconds, go ahead, hit that like button if you enjoy these daily updates. And now let's begin. So what is this good news? Well, in just 219 days, it will be November 5th, 2024. And on November 5th, 2024, that will be election day here in the United States. Now, why is this important and why is this good news? Well, this is important and good news because according to reports, all these reports indicate that right now lawmakers are okay with just sitting and doing nothing until the next election. They want to ensure that they have a seat in Congress the president wants to ensure that he will be president for the next four years. And so because of these things, because of this one specific date and this one major event, which is the next election, everybody is just waiting. This means we are not going to see legislation to secure the U.S. southern border. Unfortunately, we're not going to see legislation, most likely, for Ukraine. We likely are not going to see any uh, new legislation for Israel. But I bring all this up, and the reason I say this is good news is because in 219 days, we should have an answer. If, if former President Donald Trump were to win the presidency, things are going to change come January. If current President Joe Biden gets reelected and has another four years, guess what? Things are going to change quickly. According to reports, they are saying that if, if President Joe Biden wins the next election and he has a second term, we are going to see things for Social Security. We're going to see things for uh, that are going to bring down prices. So inflation, should uh, we should see disinflation, which would be a good thing. We're going to see something for potentially Ukraine, Israel, we're going to see a lot more legislation get passed if President Biden wins the second term. Again, is this good news that he's going to win a second term? Well, it's in the eyes of the beholder. All I can tell you right now is people want answers. The American people are waiting for something to happen. The American people are waiting for some type of response to prices continually going up. For instance, food becoming so expensive, many people have to ration food. The same thing goes for medication. And when it comes to housing and shelter, guess what? Many families are now moving back in with each other. So now you have kids coming back, living with their parents, because that's the only way any of them can afford any apartment. Good news is, if something, uh, as soon as we get an answer as far as who the next president's going to be, who is going to be the majority in the House and the Senate? According to reports, we're going to have answers regarding affordable housing. This could be one of the big things. Now, I can come on here and tell you that you know everything's going to be great. The, the next half of this year is going to be the best ever. That would be a complete lie. That would be false. Because what's going to happen is we're going to continue to see tough times. We're going to continue to see uh, nothing happen within Congress. President Biden really has his hands tied. 
the, the issue down at the U.S. southern border, we're going to continue to see thousands upon thousands of people enter the United States illegally. Some are going to claim asylum. We're going to continue to see people try to take your homes. We're going to see shelters shut down because right now we just don't have enough funding to keep these shelters open. We know food banks are still helping out millions of people. They're doing their job. The concern there is they don't have enough resources. They don't have enough food. They don't have enough money. They need more. Good news though. We could see that very soon. Once we get past this November 5th date, we should have a lot more answers. The expectation at this time though, and let me just break this down really quick and explain why this could be big news for food, for shelters, for uh, you know some of these you know, food banks. What we are going to see is that on the end of uh, September, okay, on October 1st, the United States government would have to have a new funding bill in order to fund all these programs and all these you know uh, different needs. Well, the expectation is that we are not going to have a new funding bill on October 1st. The expectation is that if Republicans are are thinking they're going to win this next election, or former President Donald Trump will be back. Hopefully, uh, you know Republicans win the House and the Senate. If those things happen, then they're going to be extended, pretty much doing a, a short-term stopgap bill in order to extend funding for the U.S. government. Well, if Democrats win, they're they're hoping for the exact same thing that that uh, President Biden stays in the Oval Office and that Democrats win the House and the Senate. And hopefully if this happens, then they can pretty much set the, the, the bar and be like, well, this is what we want. But again, and the reason why I bring all this up is because the good news is it's all coming about November 5th. We're going to have answers. Now, that's when the, the elections happen, but there are some times where we have to wait days for all the votes to be counted so we know who has the majority in the House, who has the majority in the Senate, and who wins and will be the next president of the United States. So all I can tell you right now is that's coming up. We're 219 days away, so it's not like we have to wait you know, 300 days, but again, it's still a substantial amount of time. Just understand, in the meantime, we may not see anything get done, but the good news is, at least we have a deadline and we know when everything is supposed to happen. So that's what we know at this time. Again, like I said, is this good news? Again, it's in the eyes of the beholder. It depends on which angle you take. And I know I haven't been the, the most optimistic person lately, but again, who is? Who's being optimistic right now? Because right now there's not a lot being done. But I just wanted to give you a an honest, you know, up-to-date response as to what is going on, why, you know, the November 5th date is a very, very big day, but it could be great news for many people, but we'll see. So again, just wanted to wish you guys a happy Easter. Hopefully you guys get to go spend some time with your friends, your family, your loved ones, and just relax. But again, that's what I have for you guys today. Again, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing. I'll see you guys on the next one.